What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Nintendo Man 64, bringing you another episode of This Kingdom Hearts of the Memories of the Chain Variety. Memories of the Chain Variety, yeah. Should have done it the way I had initially spoken it as I run in a circle, aimlessly trying to get a commentary together. As I wait for my torrents to download, I will just I decided why don't I do some recording? And I'm going to record some Kingdom Hearts. Well, it is the one thing I can record other than uh uh Yoshi story. Or Aladdin, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next, by the way. I may end up doing something, I don't freaking know. Okay. Let's try to get our attention focused. In the last episode, the we did Peter Pan's world! Took down Captain Hook and kicked Riku's butt, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, maybe the world will tell me. Oh, crap, story. Did not mean to do that. Well, I did not expect the story to pop up. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. You don't know how Nominee feels, because you're nobodies. You don't have feelings. Shit, spoilers. Oh, well. Don't get your hopes up. Nobodies can't be somebodies. But think, Naminé, I'm sure there's something you could do. Is Naminé even gonna say a word? And why is my cat meowing? Tiger, I said come in here! Whatever. Why? Why? Sorry. Get the fuck in here, Tiger! Stop meowing like a schlep! Why? I don't get it. We both want the same thing. We both want to help Naminé. So why are we fighting? I mean, Riku and I have bumped heads over stuff in the past. Like when Riku was a jealous dick that stole your Keyblade? That's for sure. Well, the more you fight, the closer you must be. Wait, how the hell do you get that? And Sora's not even questioning that logic? Whatever. But Riku doesn't seem to feel the same way. Have a little faith, Sora. You guys used to be inseparable, right? You, Riku, and Kai... Kai... And, um, what's her name? And, um, what's her name? This is awful. Our memories are fading fast. We'd better hurry, Sora. I'm sure you and Riku can talk things out. You're probably right. After all, the three of us were never apart. Me, Riku, and Naminé. Oh, snap! Sora's not getting anything tonight because he forgot his girlfriend. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! That's not good. That's not good. At all. In any degree. Ah, fuck the Little Mermaid world. Or Winnie the Pooh. Prolong this enough. Uh, ah, fuck it. We have to do it eventually. Why is the cat still not in here? Tiger! Whatever. Gosh, this looks like the bottom of the sea. Huh, <laughs> yuck? It sure does. So how come we can breathe? Hmm, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us? Thank God I'm not Mersora. Mersora sucks. He sucks so much. It's just like breathing air. It's just lazy game design. But it's not air. See? Someone's swimming this way. Oh, hubba hubba! Hey there, Ariel. What's up, girl? If anyone asked, you didn't see me. What? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Just promise you won't tell. Did your boobs just tingle? <laughs> Goofy, I love you! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> What's that sparkling thing you got there? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Remember, you didn't see me. <laughs> that just 
just made my day, Goofy. Oh my god. She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. It's none of our concern. Key to beginnings. The only silver lining about the Little Mermaid world is we get this music. F to the yes! Under the freaking sea! And it's so much nicer to do with this world than in this game, in particular, than it is in the original PlayStation game. And I'm talking Kingdom Hearts 1. Because that game is friggin' bullshit. You spend all this time doing abilities and building up your character so you're maxed out and everything, and you freaking suck. Ow. Thank you. Holy crap, I'm at a high level. I don't know if I'm going to do some off-screen recording. I mean, off-screen leveling up. Grinding, as we call it in the gaming world. That's the beauty about Kingdom Hearts, though. I mean, you only have to level up the one character. It's not like Pokemon, where you had to level up everybody. And holy crap, that guy's got a stick! I'm afraid of the man with the stick. OH MY GOD! It's an anglerfish! I'm gonna call you Lantern! Ow! Oh yeah, I forgot, I can speed up! <laughs> there we go. Oh! Fudge-shickle popsicle stick! I do want to be at a decent enough level, because you don't level up in the Hundred Acre Wood world. So you can be com you'll be completely unprepared for the rest of the game. Oh, Angler! Uh, then again, I don't know. It depends on what my CP level's at. There we go. Well, in case you guys didn't already notice it, which I'm assuming you have, since it's, I don't know, mid-March when this is getting uploaded, but it's getting recorded in the middle of February. But you can see, see my new uh, channel design. I finally got shit working because I stopped being lazy and downloaded Photoshop. It's birth by sleep because that is, as we planned it, that is going to be the first completely, like, together commentary that, oh, gameplay actually, not just commentary. If they appear before we do birth by sleep, I'm talking of course about, uh, pebbles and shroom cuts. If they appear before that, that'll just be to do commentary, and it's because they're at my house because they're hobos. Well, Shroomy is. Pebbles will always have a place here. Well, duh, she's our producer. She's the one who keeps me from punching holes through walls. Shroom Cuts is the useless bastard. I mean, he just sits there making himself look like a diva. Oh, I'm in, I'm in school, I can't do that stuff. Yeah, you can. Bitch, you have a car, you have all that shit. You only live half an hour away from me. Stop coming to my house every Tuesday and demanding we play Brawl. I got shit to do. Oh my god, the nightmares are coming back to me. About having to look for that fucking one. I mean, that fucking nine card in the Olympus world. I don't know if I needed the Moogle points, but I don't care. I want the Black Fungus card. Leave me alone, you fuckers! 
They're ganging up on me! How is that fair? No, you don't. Reflect raid! Reflect raid! I better get something out of this. Oh my god. I didn't think you guys would be such pains in the arses. Stop with having such powerful cards! Okay... Alright, I got it. I think I know how to do this. Ha! Fuck! Ah, oh, shit, I did the wrong one. There we go. Stop attacking the one with the shield on! Okay, yeah, this is clearly gonna be a bad episode. Clearly, from the way everything's starting. Oh my god! There we go. Of course it's a fucking one. Ugh, oh, whatever. Whatever. Why'd they give me so many in that one? But like, every other time I've used the Black Fungus card, I get one. Or two, so I get nothing out of it except annoyance. Oh, same number of assholes! No, no! Fuck y'all, father muckers! But yeah, uh, Birth by Sleep is definitely gonna be our first co-op, com- co-op playthrough. And how we're gonna do it, since Birth by Sleep is a one-player game, is beyond me right now. I cannot comprehend thoughts right now, I don't even know why. I got enough sleep last night. I think they'll be here for maybe one episode of Kingdom Hearts. They specifically requested not to be involved in the Little Mermaid world. There's just some- they have just some major hatred for that world. It's pretty darn confusing. It'd be nice if you healed me. Thank you, Donald! Oh my god, just take the damn thing off! Your invincibility is pissing me off! HOLY CRAP! STOP BEING INVINCIBLE! Of course, and I didn't get the freaking card out of it. I hate my life. 